Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now, getting the nod in this one, Dean Kremer. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. Fly ball down the line. And it drops foul into the corner. And a pitch. Liner, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now the rookie second baseman, Este Yuri Ruiz. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Strike one. Peterson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. In the dirt. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Here's Manny Pena. Fought off foul. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The next pitch misses, one and one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Ball to strike, the pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the catch, two down. That is cool. Head time now to check out the A's lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. On, and he chases Boy, that one below the zone. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Rudder at second, two down. Next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. Oledmis Diaz in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. And a foul ball. Wait. 
and that's ball four. That is good. The shortstop. Aledmus. Aledmus Diaz now. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. In the air, left field. Hayes ranging after it. Makes a nice running catch. And that's the third out. Hayes strand a couple. Orioles do up in the first. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Baltimore, today's starting pitcher, Dalton Jeffries. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And a pitch. And ball one. Now wanted a one. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. That is second. Here's Adam second. Frazier. Adam. That misses. Ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Mullins gets his lead at first with nobody out. Takes it to the bag. That's one. On to first. Ow. Double play. Just got it there in time. Now shortstop makes the decision, commits to it, touches second himself, and then a strong throw across the diamond to get that second out. Really nice job. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Singy Ryan Mountcastle, a former first-round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You got to try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention. Hello. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Two one now. And fouled off. A little only on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Popped in the air. Left field. Rooker brings it in for the third out. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark, second inning, set to go. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And a quick out, number one. Rooker. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Pitch oh, misses inside. inside. Ball one. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two away. 
the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Laureano comes up to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one hit to right. That's down. One hops off the wall. The throw in. And he's there with a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So that's two straight, two out hits. The third baseman, number six. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Now it's Chase Peterson. First offering misses the mark. Corners are occupied with two down. And there's a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. The 1-1. One, one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And that one is lifted in the air. And that is the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Jeffries back to work. There's a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Not a swing you want to watch again. And one out now. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Adley Rutschman. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. In there, and it's 0 1. Adley Rutschman is one of seven catchers to be taken with the first overall pick in the draft. The first, Steve Chilcott, 1966. He never made the majors, and worth noting, the number two overall pick in that draft, Reggie Jackson. Throw on to Brown. Rutschman retired. So up next, Ramon Urias. Seeing you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. First pitch, and he just misses. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. One one now. Foul ball there. Oh. 
That one oh, missed. That's inside. On the ground to third. And that squirts through. And that keeps the inning alive. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Gunnar Henderson. Hitless yesterday, as they only pushed across one run. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. All set for the start of the Three inning. The Striding outlet. to the plate now for the Oakland, Este Yuri Ruiz. Ruiz. The pitch. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Manny Pena up next for the A's. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Pena measures six feet even, 35 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple point. In the dirt. And that quickly, two away. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. So here's Brown at the plate. Sneaks through, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Waste no time there. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Oledmis Diaz now. On the ground to the left, and it finds its way through for a hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And now the right fielder, Connor Capel. He's 0 for 1. That's inside. And that's ball one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Fouled off left side. Kicks and deals. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Short hop liner handled it short. That ends the frame. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Set for the bottom of the third, and here is Austin Hayes. The left fielder. Austin Hayes. The wind of the pitch. And 
And now the 1. He swings and fouls one off. And the righty deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Jorge Mateo now. That's in there. It's 0-1. The wind and the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. On the ground, out to short. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Hard hit, right side. He'll do it himself, and that is that. Nothing doing this time around for the O's, and we are still scoreless. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Brent Rooker. Rooker. Kremer back to work. This to center field. Mullins makes the grab one away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. Line drive, base hit. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boo. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the speedy catcher, Shea Langoliers. In the air right field. Makes the grab, two down. The third baseman, number six, Jace Peterson. Jace Peterson digs in now, one for two. Swings through that one out in front that time. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. He decides to hold on to it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. That's to you, Ruiz. And now, Este Yuri Ruiz. Check swing, but he went too far, and that is strike one. Here comes a pitch. That clips the corner. Line drive, and that gets down for a base hit. Hayes fires it to the plate, safe at the plate, and it's 1-0. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Oakland's DH, Manny Pena. Swing and a 
ball popped up. He's under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Baltimore, ready to go, bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Adam Frazier. Frazier. The pitch. And that one missing low. You know, these Orioles, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Glide out his first time. Hit on the ground to the right side. Brown takes it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Anthony Santander at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Ball one, no strikes. That's in there. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And yeah, that's outside. outside. And another Three ball. ball. Right back to him on the mound. Inning over. Orioles held in check there. They trail here, one nothing. Back now at Oriole Park, and now the first baseman, the first Seth baseman. Brown. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And now the count is even. 
What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Swing and a miss, and out to a two. And now it's filled up. Swung on, belted. That's back. And that one is off the wall. And that's a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap. We just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging and connecting right out of the gates. Runner leads away at second, and that one fouled off. Brown leads off second with nobody out. And now one and two. And of course, sometimes you need to be patient as an offense and let the pitcher come to you, but you can't argue with the game plan they're using in this one. Next pitch in the dirt, and that's ball two. Two-two on the way. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Connor Capel up next for the A's. Line drive, base hit down the line. Brown headed for the plate. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. It's an RBI double, and it's 2-0. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Way inside, gets out of the way. And the 1 0. Hit hard on the ground is short. Mateo sends it to first. And yeah, there's two away. The bat. The center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Here's Ramon Laureano. Not one close up. with that one. And that is ball one. Action in the pen down there. Kyle Bradish appears to be getting loose. Hernandez, the lefty, warming up as well. The 1-0. And oh, that's, that's a little okay. bit high. And a pitch. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. And Laureano is retired. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching A's Baseball on the show Bay Area.
bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And first offering is fouled off. Adley Rutschman saying a first overall pick out of Oregon State. What a college career he had. He helped the Beavers win the 2018 College World Series, and he was named the most outstanding player of the tournament. Yeah, I found it interesting that in his rookie season, many baseball experts said that he was the best catcher in the big leagues at the time. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off. Fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly late with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. And he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And there's a foul ball. Urias at first, one gone. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now it's Austin Hayes. That one's in there. 0-1-1. Oh, one's the count. On the ground, Diaz. They take the force out, and that ends the inning. Great concentration to get that one started. He gets the force in second. Glove work at its finest. Coming out for the Orioles, Kyle Bradish. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Here comes the 0-1. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Michael Gibbons is up and throwing for Brandon High. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That's to third. Slides. He's got it. Throw to first. Nicely done for the out. <laughs> so the lineup flips over. Now the third baseman, Jace Peterson. First pitch, just misses. Bradish, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018. The bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having 
those that were there with a an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Next offering is in the dirt. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. One gone runner at first. Este Yuri Ruiz. Up next for the A's. Ruiz, 24 years old. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. Rips that one center field. Two down. Now batting, designated hitter, Manny Pena. Now it's the DH, Manny Pena. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The old one. To third, Urias. Third out. So one hit is all they get. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the A's two and the Orioles nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the power speed combo. Jorge Mateo. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And he deals. Nope. Just Whoa, missed. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Ball to strike. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Well, it's a nice forehand stop. Kept the ball from getting to the outfield, but he had a little trouble getting rid of it and had to take an extra step, which cost you some time. But he recovered, made a good, strong throw, and he still got the out. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. Lifted in the air, out to left, and they get Mullins for the out. Two away down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, now within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Adam. So digging in, Adam Frazier. Frazier measures 5 feet 10 inches, 180 pounds, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2013. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Swing and a miss. 
pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. New inning getting started. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Seth Brown. Brown. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Oh, and two. And there's a ball. Next offering is foul back. The one two. Fights it off, he'll see another. The one two. And that one hammered. Santander moving back for it. Back some more. Gone into the flag court. Seth Brown goes deep. His first homer of the year. And they add a run. It's 3 0. Not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Next up for the A's, Oledmis Diaz. Next pitch has popped up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Oriole Park, still one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of baseball. I can't say another franchise does it better than Baltimore. The opening day ceremony, the players come in from the outfield through the center field wall, long orange carpet, so many fans here. Just a great place. Cable stands in now and watches strike one. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. That signature warehouse in right field is, well, you talk about knowing where you are, a sense of place. I mean, who could forget Griffey hitting the home run off of the warehouse in the home run derby, but always when shots are framed, you see that building, you know exactly where you are. Camden Yards. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Brent Rooker, up next for the A's. And when teams started building sort of state-of-the-art ballparks, Baltimore was the first organization to do it up the way that they did. Really created a mold for other organizations to follow when upgrading or building new ballparks. The 0-1. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws the first. That's the third out. Oakland gets one on this homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh, and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. The Orioles in striking distance, but have some work to do. 
Boog. It starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's in there. Strike one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. All over that one right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now Anthony Santander. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. You'll won. And it's fouled away. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Righty delivers. Nope. Outside. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Right-hander kicks deals. Aye. And down on strikes. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Now the catcher up to hit, Adley Rutschman. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. Foul ball. The one, two. To the right side. Dives and he can't hang on. To first and he beats it, everyone's safe. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. To short, could be two. Tosses to first, that's it out. And now the DH, Gunnar Henderson. That one fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Mountcastle, the runner at third. Rutschman at second with two gone. And one and two. His fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Now fly ball to right center. Capel under this one. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Orioles strand a couple. They trail it here, three nothing. here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. And now the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Laureano. Bradish, back to work. First pitch swinging. That takes low for ball one. Right-handed reliever. Line drive, caught! Now batter, the catcher, Shea Shea Langoliers, Langoliers, the next to hit, one for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and he reaches safely. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Jace Peterson. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Chop to first. Mountcastle. Toss to second. Over to first. Safe. Now it's going to be Este Yuri Ruiz. Radish picks the first. Peterson back in on a dive. Yeah, 
Urias makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for Oakland, but they lead it 3-0. Welcome back. Onto the bottom of the eighth. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Jeffries into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Slice down the right side. Pitch count in great shape. It seems he might have a chance to finish it. The 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Left field. Rooker calls it in, and there's one away. The batter, number three. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That one the other way. Nice grab. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions, great athleticism, and he snatched that thing out of the air, and he robbed him of a base hit. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. First offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still down, three nothing. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the ninth, digging in for Oakland, Manny Pena. And here it comes. That one drifts inside. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. CNL Perez is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. And it is two and one. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Three and two down. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. On the ground, right side. Frazier on the first, in time. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. The first baseman, Seth Brown. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Seth Brown. He's already homered here in this one. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Another homer, and they tack one on the board. It's 4 nothing. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now, Darwin's in Hernandez. 
He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Next up for the A's, Oledmis Diaz. And that one fouled off. Hernandez measures six feet, two inches, 26 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Next offering is down low. And a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Cable now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. A solo homer adds to the Oakland lead. It's now a 4-0 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Bottom nine. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. The next ball. offering misses. And that's ball one. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Rooker pulls that one down, and there's one down. Ryan Mountcastle, number the next to hit six. for the Orioles. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's a line drive to left field. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. But, man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Adley Rutschman now at the plate. That one clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Nope. Just off the outside part of the plate. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. Next Whoa, pitch is right outside. There. It's a good take. Runners at first and second with one gone. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. First and second, two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 0-2. Swing and a pop-up. And that'll do it. The A's get a shutout on the mound. 
it has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4-0 shutout in this one. Oakland victorious for Chris Singleton and our entire